so welcome back to the channel guys in another chess video and i'm back again with another beautiful game of mine in which i played a brilliant move that won me the game and this is the game uh, which i played a few hours ago and in this game i had the black pieces in hand and my opponent opens up with d3 and d3 is not very common move but it it is a move and d3 is known is called the misses opening i don't, don't know if i am pronouncing it correctly or not but d3 is the misses opening and i replied with e5 which is again another book move knight to f3 and now knight to c6 and now this is the rat variation of the said opening now we have c3 on the board and now i played d5 g3 and now f5 queen to a4 and now i played queen to d6 which is a mistake the best move was bishop to d7 to break the pin on the knight anyways opponent plays bishop to g2 and now i played bishop to d7 finally queen to b3 is on the board and now i castled long and i didn't only castle but also protected my pawn with the king anyways opponent plays knight to g5 going for the knight to f7 fork very common fork and most beginners fall for this fork but i simply played bishop to e8 and this is a really great move that stops the fork and by the way i am 1911 rapid and my highest rating was 1961 so um just i'm a little bit closer i'm closer to 1961 although i am stuck between 1900 and 1950 but anyways let's continue my opponent castles short and this is an opposite side castling game so this will be a war you may think but who will win the war well i will and i'll show you how so after my opponent's castling i played h6 to kick away the knight knight moved to f3 and now i played g5 and i started my own attack on white king and after uh, g5 opponent plays a4 opponent also starts his own attack but look at the center look at my center i have a big fat center and that gives me the space advantage as well not to mention that white's rook knight and bishop on the queen side are still not developed well now i played knight to f6 simply developing a piece and opponent plays queen to c2 and now i played g4 which is a mistake because it allows knight to h4 and my attack is halted for some time also there are potentially knight can potentially jump to the g6 g6 square well now it cannot jump because the bishop will take bishop will take anyways i played bishop to d7 which was a mistake and it's plus 1.6 for white now because mm, open because white can play b4 and start his own attack b5 with b5 and a5 etc not to mention white can at any time play the move knight to g6 anyways i continued with knight to e7 and this was a dual purpose dual purpose move first of all no this was a tri purpose move first of all it provides additional support to the f5 pawn it also halts knight to g6 and it also uh, let 
B5 not come with a tempo because had my had I not moved my knight and my opponent played B5 it would have come with a tempo because my knight would have been attacked so that's how this was a tri-purpose move anyways opponent plays bishop to e3 and I blundered on the spot with f4 the king to b8 was the best move and my opponent plays bishop to c5 gaining a tempo on my queen and I slid my queen to e6 and now opponent plays bishop takes e7 and I played bishop takes e7 and now my opponent opponent plays knight to g6 fork in the rook and the bishop and had I taken with the queen on e7 it would have been knight would have been fork in the king and the queen that's why I took with the bishop anyways I moved my moved my rook to h7 and now my opponent plays d4 and I played f3 which was an inaccuracy and this move f3 equalizes the game and after e takes f3 and g takes f3 opponent plays bishop takes on f3 and now i simply close to the center with e4 and opponent plays knight to f4 gaining a tempo over my queen which was a mistake and now i played queen to f7 and opponent plays bishop to g2 and in this position i again blundered by playing the move knight to h5 now white is completely winning in this position only and only if white finds the move knight takes on d5 and that move would have been brilliant had my opponent played it now what's the big deal about knight takes on d5 well if queen takes d5 then we have bishop takes on e4 forking the queen and the rook and opponent will end up winning my rook for free that's why knight takes on d5 would have been a brilliant move but anyways after knight to h5 opponent plays knight to h3 and mi missed his opportunity to win the game and now i played bishop to g4 and opponent plays knight to d2 he developed his knight but it was a mistake because here comes the move queen to e6 double attacking the knight on uh, h3 and in this position it was very important for white it was really important for white to move the knight but instead of that white plays the move knight to b3 and blunders the game on the spot because here comes the move bishop takes on h3 and after knight to c5 i simply snap took the knight and after b takes on c5 i simply traded bishops with my opponent and i ended up up a piece so anyways after all this trade i played rook to g7 bringing my rook to the g file the same file in which the white king resides anyways after rook a to b1 i played the move knight to f4 check knight to f4 check notice that the knight cannot be captured because the g pawn is pinned so opponent plays king to h1 now i played queen to h3 and this was a clever move because you cannot simply snap take the knight otherwise i'll meet you on g g2 and opponent my opponent saw all this and played rook to g1 and now i played knight to d3 and my knight on d3 is a monster anyways opponent continued his attack with a5 and now i played rook to f8 and opponent plays rook to g2 now i again played knight to f4 knight to f4 because again if the knight is taken then the queen will simply take the rook and it would be checkmate so my opponent ignores my 
offering of the night and moves his rook to g1 moves his g rook to g1 and now i played knight to h5 and opponent continues with c6 and i played knight to f6 and it was a mistake and my advantage went from negative 6 to negative 3 that's ah uh, that's almost the loss of half an advantage because here comes the move look takes on b7 and white can gain some counter play on my king but anyways i continued with knight to g4 uh, to uh, continue my attack on white king and opponent continues with rook to g2 and which was a mistake but now i played king to d8 which was a miss well in this position i was thinking that my opponent had a mate in two because he can sacrifice the rook like this and if i go here it would be mate but little did i know that i can actually move my king to c8 and i will be completely fine but king to d8 was played because i thought that i will be i will be getting mated if my king stays longer on c8 that's why i played king to d8 anyways my opponent plays rook to b8 check i simply played king to e7 now we both traded the rooks and opponent plays f3 and ladies and gentlemen now i played the brilliant move knight takes on h2 and this is really brilliant well if you take the knight then thanks for let uh, letting me checkmate you that's why you cannot take the knight and the only best you can do is to move your king to g8 and in that scenario too you are completely losing but in this position my opponent plays f takes on e4 and blunders i made in two now i simply played knight to f3 check and it was in this position on move number 42 that my opponent resigned the game as there is nothing much to be done here my opponent will simply play the move rook to h2 and now i will meet him like this so that it would have been cooler had he allowed me to meet him in two moves but on knight takes on uh, knight to f3 check she resigned the game and i won so that's it for today guys hope you all enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video then please share this video with your family and friends and also do not forget to subscribe and click in the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video